Why call it a minigun? Short answer, could, could you not have that pointed at my head there? Thank you. Short answer, it's the smaller version of another gun. Longer answer, well... We are going back to 1861 when Richard Gatling invented his Gatling gun. He was great at naming things. A hand cranked rotating barrel gun. It wasn't the first rotating barrel. The volley gun dates back to the Hundred Years War in 1339 and those led to the pepper box revolvers, both handgun and rifle. But Gatling's design was magazine fed. They were still working out metal cartridges at the time so it used paper cartridges until 1881 and was hand cranked though he would eventually make it battery powered in 1893. The barrels rotating so that the risk of overheating was greatly reduced and by 1883 it could fire up to 400 shots per minute. This gun was rather popular seeing action in Japan during the Boshin War by the British in the Anglo-Zulu War which we've talked a little bit about before and mostly by the Americans during the Civil War, Spanish-American War and the Great Railroad Strike of 1877 among others. Yeah I know it seems like one of those things is not like the others. The next Next step, well, kind of sidestep, was the German Fokker Leinberger. Yeah, go ahead, giggle it up. Developed during World War I for use on aircraft, but the design just didn't work. Which brings us to the M61 Vulcan, designed by General Electric. Yeah, that General Electric in 1946, put into service in 1959, and capable of firing up to 6,000 rounds per minute. They were created due to the increased usage of jets and the need for a higher rate of fire. And now we we get to the Vietnam War, where helicopters that were dropping or picking up troops and supplies needed better weapons to defend their landings, and the guns they were using had a penchant for overheating. So in the early 1960s, good old GE decided to just scale down their M61 Vulcan and its 20 by 102 millimeter rounds into the M134 minigun, using 7.62 by 51 millimeter rounds, which is the NATO standard. So being that it was just a smaller version of an existing gun, it was called a mini gun. Oh, and it fires between 2,000 and 6,000 rounds per minute. Kind of figured y'all might want to know that. By the way, there was an idea for a micro gun. It was a prototype that never went into full production that was a scaled down mini gun and only weighed about 85 pounds. But the military wasn't particularly interested. GE also wanted to make an infantry version of the micro gun, but again, the military wasn't interested. And I couldn't do a video about the minigun without mentioning probably the most popular appearance of it, Old Painless. Payback time. Yep custom made for the movie Predator, carried with a harness that put most of the weight on the shoulders, slowed down to 1250 rounds per minute, and powered by batteries that were set off camera and connected to the gun by power cables that ran up Jesse Ventura's pant leg. This meant that he couldn't walk whenever they filmed the gun actually being used. Old Painless was one of the many great things to come from that movie, but it wasn't quite as popular as... Death of the Chopper! Yeah, it's kind of hard to beat that one.